What's going on, too? How's everybody been doing? How was everybody's weekend? My weekend was uh, pretty well. Ended up uh, running yesterday. Just a quick run to uh, Miami and Bagwell. It turned out to be a longer run than expected. But, you know, it's trucking and it happens. So before we jump into today's video, I just want to take a minute to thank all you guys. All the people who've been rocking with me from day one. All the people who've just started rocking with me. Appreciate all you guys. Appreciate, you know, all the likes, all the dislikes, you know, all the feedback I get from you guys. Much love to all y'all. So we're going to talk about another question that I got. It's a pretty vague question, but I'm going to do my best to talk about it. So we're going to talk about is being a truck driver worth it? Is it worth it, guys? What do you guys think? And this video, it's going to be pretty much my personal opinion. So don't know take it too harsh but i say i would say trucking it is worth it now i will tell you guys um when you come out here you need to have a goal have a purpose for being out here whether you're going local or otr you need to have a purpose whether your goal is to save money for a down payment on a house or to pay off some bills or if you want to see the country you know have a purpose for being out here because if you're just out here just to be out here you know you're not going to really enjoy it i'm also tell you guys you know before you come out here you need to kind of educate yourself on the industry um learn you know basic terminology out here you know don't come out here being ignorant you know know something you know that way you know you don't get played out here because sometimes companies they'll try to play you if you don't you know know what you're doing or know what you're talking about so educate yourself have a little uh basic knowledge on how to do basic maintenance you know on a truck because knowing how to do roadside maintenance you know it can prevent you from being on the shoulder for hours at a time now i'm not expecting you guys to you know change the tires nothing ridiculous like that but being able to you know um replace fuses you know simple stuff like that um as far as the money in trucking um people do say that there's no money in trucking i'm gonna be the first one to tell you guys that is completely false it's money out here it's up to you to get the money you know um of course you know if you're at a mega carrier uh depending on the company you go to you may or may not make a lot of money you know but again you can still make money now I want to tell you guys, don't let what you see on YouTube fool you. Now, some of your favorite YouTubers, you know, they might post, you know, their pay stubs, you know, say, oh, I made this much this week. But a lot of times what they fail to tell you guys is um, how long they've been at that company. You know, you could start at a particular company and you may not make what your favorite YouTuber is making because chances are he or she's probably been at that company for quite a quite a while. So don't expect to always make, you know, what you see on YouTube. Uh, another thing, when it comes to finding a company, you know, don't always go off what people say, you know, because if you need to have your own mind. I've said this a million times, guys. Have your own mind when you're picking a company. You know, don't go off my word. Don't go off the Internet's word. You need to have your own. See, you need to see for yourself, you know, because with every company, it's going to be somebody that likes the company and it's going to be somebody that absolutely hates the company, you know? That's what it is, you know? Every company, no matter where you go, it's going to be somebody that likes it and somebody that hates it. You know, and I always tell you guys, and I've been saying this since I made this channel, my experience may not be your experience and your experience may not be my experience. So have your own mind. Um, as far as, you know... It's a very, you know, it's a very rewarding career, you know. There's not many companies out there, not many fields out there that'll pay you, you know, good money each week. You know, trucking, we get paid, you know, weekly. And there are a few companies out there that do pay, like, bi-weekly. There's some local companies. Very few, but uh, there are some out there. As far as job security, guys, I've always said... Trucking is a good industry because, you know, it's job security. Because think about it. People are always going to need truck drivers for the most part. You know, no matter what crazy times we go through, you know, whether it's pandemic, 
or hurricane season or whatever the case may be, um, people are always going to need truck drivers. People are always going to have to eat. People are always going to need clothes on their back. So they're going to need a driver to transport that. And that's where you guys come in at. Um, as I always say, as long as you keep your CDL clean, you know, you'll never be out of a job, you know. Um, as far as what's best, you know, uh, as far as like reefer drive and I've done them both. So, you know, I can speak on which one I think is better. Um, for me, from my experience, you know, when I did reefer, I made more uh, than I did doing drive van. But some of the things with reefer is, you know, with reefer, you do sit a lot, a lot of sittings, a lot of that. But as y'all know, I do LTL now and I'm making more money than I did with um, either one. I made more. Now, I know some of you guys still ask me, how much am I making? How much am I making? Um, those who know me know that I don't believe in um, I don't believe in sharing my uh, pay stubs for a few reasons. One, you know, it doesn't benefit you guys knowing what I make. You know, that's not going to help your situation. And a lot of people who watch me, you know, some of y'all are newbies, so you guys aren't going to make, you know, what I make. You know, I'm not trying to brag or nothing like that, but that's just what it is, you know. Um, just like back when I was at Warner, um, a lot of you guys came over there think you guys were going to make what I make, but the account I was on, you know, they require, you know, X amount of experience to get on that account. So to sum it up, is trucking worth it? It is worth it because let's go ahead and recap. You have job security, stable income, and you guys get to see the country for free. You know, if you're OTR, you get to see that country for free. You know, you're going to see everything from Washington to Florida, from Maine to California and everything in between. So, you know, if you're undecided, you know, if you want to do it, you know, just do it. And by the way, I'm not trying to promote trucking, guys. I don't want y'all to feel that I'm a promoter. I'm not a promoter. I am a truck driver, as you guys know. But um, I've done a lot of different jobs, you know, before trucking. You know, I've done everything from being a delivery driver with no CDL. I've done warehousing to retail, culinary. You know, I've done pretty much a lot of things. So out of all of them, trucking has been, you know, the best one for me. You know, that's the one that's put the most money in my pocket. You know, and I've made a lot of things happen, you know, stuff done trucking. I've been able to um, get a new car, by the way. Did I tell you I got a new car? Which I'm sitting in right now. Um, been able to get a nice place, you know. My current goal right now is I'm working on um, getting a house. You know, I'm tired of uh, renting apartments. You know, I'm tired of living that life. You know, I want something that I can call mine. So I'm in the works of... Um, you know, continuing working on my credit, you know, so I can put a good down payment on a house. And I got a few other goals that I have set aside. So, yeah, guys, I recommend, you know, getting a truck. It is very well worth it. So go ahead and wrap this video up. As I always tell you guys, thank you to all my day one subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Appreciate all you guys. If you like that video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs up anyway. And as I always tell y'all, y'all take it easy. Stay safe. Oh yeah, guys, I did forget to mention in the video, if your goal is to become an owner operator or fleet owner or lease driver, you know, make sure you educate yourself on being an owner operator, you know, uh, talk to other owner operators out there, um, you know, ask basic questions, you know, make sure you educate yourself. Don't jump into a lease purchase or owner operator without having the basic knowledge, you know, make sure you understand how much it costs to uh, run a truck, um, make sure you understand uh, fueling, making sure you're not overpaying in fuel, um, understand the load board, you know, just understand how freight moves, understand where freight is going, where the rates are good at, where the rates are low at. So um, educate yourself, you know, make it a priority. You know, if that's what your end goal is, educate yourself, you know, don't come out here being naive, don't come out here being ignorant.